Garden Grove, California. Welcome, folks. I hope there's a lot of folks from the Garden Grove area watching today's show because today we're going to help people just like you invest in multifamily real estate and do so on a teeny weeny little budget, folks. I'm talking about picking up a property that's going to generate about $18,000 a year in rent, and you're going to be able to pick this thing up for twenty-five grand. That's right, Garden Grove, $25,000, and you could go from spectator to investor. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help everyday people like you. Today, my clients are Tim and Tina, a little husband, wife, partnership here, right? These two are investing in real estate together, right? And uh, you guys are looking to get started in multifamily properties, and you've got a pretty fancy wish list here. We're looking at... Uh, you're hoping for a 30% return on investment, at least one and a half baths in each of the units. You're looking for side-by-side -side properties. Uh, you want them to be uh, turnkey or very close to turnkey, and you prefer the duplexes uh, to be side-by-side -side versus up-down. That's all well and good, but when I see lists like this, I'm just like, God, don't you hate what spaghetti falls out of your pocket? And then you're just like, wait, what? What did he say that literally makes no sense? I know, makes no sense whatsoever, right? It's not practical. And unfortunately, this list is not practical, right? What I do, part of my job, folks, right? I am not necessarily a waiter, right? A waiter's job is to take your order, right? You fill out a list of items you want, and then they bring them out to you, right? Unless, unless... The restaurant don't sell it, right? If you go to McDonald's and you're like, yo, let me get a, a double-decker taco. They're like, yo, bro, we can't do that. It doesn't exist here, right? So uh, to that vein, right, like you give me an order, much like a waiter, I guess, uh, but just like a waiter. I said earlier I'm not like a waiter, but I really am like a waiter because I'll tell you if they don't have it. I can't sell you what doesn't exist, right? And you're too optimistic uh, with your, your wish list here, right? The property I have for you today it's going to check off as many of those boxes as possible. It's not going to be side by side. It's going to be up down. OK, when you're buying properties and you're hoping to get to that 30 uh, percent ROI, that's usually stuff that you have to uh, force the rents to go up over time. Right. It's not going to be sold to you just on a platter, totally turnkey like that because people are paying more. Right. I know you guys have said you've went through some of the older episodes of Holton Wise TV and you may have found some properties that met. Uh, all of those check boxes, but you have to understand the market, folks, it's a living, breathing thing, right? The market, it's going in one direction right now, and that is up, right? So the older the video, uh, the more uh, unlikely those numbers are still achievable, right? You want to talk about numbers moving, you should have seen what we were paying for real estate in like 2014, right? But we are coming out of the largest crash in the history of the world, right? So all good. I am still here to help you, right? I am still here to help people just like you, people in Garden Grove, pick up properties they could never pick up anywhere else. Everything on your wish list, not going to happen. But the property I have for you today is going to be as close to that as humanly possible. I'm talking about $18,000 in gross rent for a $25,000 investment that my team will handle all of the work for you, folks. Living in Garden Grove, I think we could all agree that that is impossible to achieve where you live. So we can achieve it here, even if it doesn't check every single box. And I'm gonna get into all the numbers right after this. Two, please. No, I think it'll 
Welcome back, folks. Let's pick up the property. This one is a killer deal, man. I love this one, right? Look at this thing. She might, might not look so pretty on the eyes, but once you get to know her, folks, she's got a good soul. You know what I'm saying? All right, this duplex, nice solid C-grade duplex, nice wood here, looking fresh, looking new. Third key, man. And they've gone in and done everything, and they renovated it the same way I would have renovated it, right? Fans of the show, y'all hear me talk. You go dark floors. People love them dark floors. Agreeable gray walls, white trim. That's what you do, right? If you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I like the color blue better, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's not about you, okay? It's about what is popular, right? It's about neutral tones. It's about... Not picking out the favorite color of somebody, it's picking out a color that most people are going to be cool with, right? And statistically speaking, that's going to be this layout, right? White kitchen cabinets, all that, looking good. This is a fresh unit, man. We got to do nothing here, it appears, other than pop a for rent sign in the front yard, market this bad boy on Holton Wise TV, and you will get yourself some solid tenants, man. Looks like the seller has gone in and done it all, right? Truly. Good looking property for us, folks. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to be able to get a, oh, by the way, <coughs> hard to see, but you can see the mechanicals in the background all new, right? All newer. Look how new those all look, right? Two furnaces, two hot water tanks. It's very important that these are new, by the way, folks. Just so you know, furnaces cost about three to $3,500 a piece right now. So if you got to do two of them, do the math. That's 7K. Hot water tanks, about a G, it's like 1200 Prices keep going up, right? It's 2022. Welcome to the COVID world. Welcome to Biden's inflation. Anyway, moral of the story is all this stuff that you see here that's new, you're looking at like $9,000 worth of stuff, right? Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years. Furnaces last about 30, right? So they did a lot of work for you, right? This thing is in solid shape. This is an earner, man. This is probably one of the better investments on the market, right? Solid C-grade neighborhood. I like the neighborhood. 228 Gates, Illyria. Two days on the market. We're going to need to move quick, right? This will fly. It's going to have multiple offers. Now, they're asking 100, right? And we're going to get. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? For, or they're asking 110, rather. What are we going to get? Well, we're going to slap two tenants in there. Cash paying or Section 8. Both work well in this neighborhood. This is a neighborhood where the neighborhood, in my opinion, is solid enough where you get a decent chunk of qualified cash paying tenants. But on top of that, love me some Section 8 because there ain't nothing better than government guaranteed shutter. So it works well with both. Those are really the sweet spot markets, markets where you get the widest possible tenant base, right? It's how you keep your tenancy uh, vacancies down, folks, right? If you get into some neighborhoods that are so high risk, your really only choice is Section 8 because if you try to go with just cash paying tenants, you're going to deal with just way too many turnovers and evictions and not payment of rent, right? And then you get to other neighborhoods that are real nice, and you don't really want to go Section 8 because you have really nice, high-quality tenant base, but the price to rent ratios are usually all out of whack. So this is like the C spot. If people often ask me questions like, yo, is this good? Is this good? Is that good? Is this bad, right? Is this neighborhood good? Is this neighborhood bad? I don't. I don't like those questions. I don't like the question of, is this neighborhood good or is this neighborhood bad? I think that's a flawed question, right? Why is that a flawed question? Good for what? Bad for what, right? It's not a thing, right? Like, all right, this particular neighborhood is good in the uh, aspect that I think this is the sweet spot for investing in long-term buy and hold real estate, right? Like if you're asking me if I think this is good for a buy and hold investor who wants that sweet spot of low prices, high price to rent ratio, wide tenant base, I think it's great. I love buying rental properties in neighborhoods like this. I happen to love Elyria quite a bit from a rental property perspective. But if you're asking me like, do I want to live in this house? No, motherfucker, I'm rich. I don't want to live in this house. Shit. So I don't like the answer or the question of like good or bad, right? Because of that. Because of that, what I did is I created the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, right? And I got a link to it in the show notes below. It's also available on the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. You can also Google it. And what I did is I graded every neighborhood on an 8F scale. A being high price, low risk. F being low price, high risk, okay? So like good, bad, it varies based on good for what, bad for what, varies based upon the investor, right? So utilize that guide 
to see where your sweet spot is, right? You might be an investor who's like, dude, I want the cheapest deals possible, and I only want Section 8. Well, then, hey, man, for you, you might be able to get something like this a little bit cheaper and only go Section 8 if you go to, like, a D or an F neighborhood. But you might be like, oh, I don't want risk, and you might want to go up to, like, a B neighborhood, right? So look into that. With all that said, this is, like, a very, very high C-grade neighborhood, which, in my opinion is a nice sweet spot for long-term cash flow investing, okay? So I truly do like that, and this is going to fly. But 110, I would love in a perfect world to be able to get you this property 100K. Now, here's the deal. I think there's going to be multiple offers. So if you really want it, don't be afraid to go above 100K. But I think 100K would be the sweet spot. It'd be nice to see you get that, but I cannot guarantee that, of course. I can't guarantee anything, but... It's going to be tough because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are very excited to see it renovated, to see all those new mechanicals, right? This is what the numbers would look like uh, on an annualized basis at 100K. 1,500 comes in, 781, 25 would be your average NOI out of that, right? So of the 18K that comes in every year, an average would be just under 10K in pure profit, right? Even though the furnace is new, the hot water tanks are new, you see that I have you saving money towards capital expenditures, right? I have you saving 900 a year for that, 900 a year for vacancy, 900 a year for repairs and maintenance. Those are all $900 that go into your pocket, but I don't want you to consider them to be profit because in 15 years, I'm like, hey, dog, you need to give me a grant because we got to fix your hot water tank, things of that nature. Or eventually, a tenant will move out, and those beautiful, agreeable gray walls you see right now are going to need to get repainted, stuff like that, right? Pure $9,375, though, in profit is what I anticipate. If you pay 100 you only put down 25 k Bank kicks in 75 should result in a 22.3% cash-on-cash return. That, folks is a solid deal very hard to achieve numbers that look better than this on a property of this quality level with this age of mechanicals in a neighborhood that i consider to be high c low b i think this is a killer deal works at 100 perfectly yes your returns will go down slightly if you go above that but i think based on the competition all the investors coming from all over the world, you may want to bid more than 100, but I can submit any offer you like. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.